Today's daily dose of math is an example of finding the equation of a step function, also known as the greatest integer function, when you have the graph. The general form for the step function is given here, and we have four parameters, a, b, h, and k. We have to find all four of those in order to be able to write out the equation. But all the information we need to find those four is given here in the graph. It is a little hard to see because I had to draw the graph small to make enough room for my calculations, but we have steps which are one unit in length, and they're starting and ending halfway between units. So this step, for instance, starts at x equals 0.5 and ends at x equals 1.5. The height of the steps is also 1.5. This step is at y equals 1, and this next step to the right and above it is at y equals 2.5. We see that the steps are closed circle on the left, open circle on the right, and we see we have a positive slope. All of this is information that we need in order to find our parameters. The first thing I'm going to do is find h and k. And to do that, I find a closed circle and I choose a closed circle that's close to the y-axis. So I'm choosing this one. And the coordinates of that point are Zero point five and one. So therefore, h equals zero point five and k equals one. We have half of our parameters already. The next thing I want to do is find the sine of b. I know that the absolute value of b gives me one over the length of the steps. When the steps have the closed circle on the left, that means that b is positive. And the length of our steps is one unit. So b equals positive one over one, or b equals one. The absolute value of a gives me the height of the steps. That means, since the height is 1.5 units, A equals either positive 1.5 or negative 1.5. AB, the product of A and B, gives me the slope of an imaginary line that's connecting all of the closed circles. AB in this case is A times 1 and it has to be positive because I can see a positive slope in that imaginary line. So since B is positive one, the only way that the product of A and B can be positive is if A is also positive. That means A equals positive 1.5. Now that I have that information, I have all four of A, B, H, and K, and I can write my equation. A is 1.5, B is 1, H is 0.5, and K is 1. And of course, I don't have to show this one when I write out my equation. This is an example of how to find a step function's equation when you have the graph. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.